So, Conviction, what made you want to be a part of this film? This movie is one of those rare things that comes along because it's a, it's a true story and it's a unique, incredible story about Betty Ann Waters who fights to get her brother out of prison who's been wrongly convicted of murder. And I play a character who put him there. And for me, it was one of those roles I've never played somebody this intense or complicated. And it's a very small role for me, but it has a scene in it I've never, I've never done before where she goes between feeling remorseful and grief-stricken and then vengeful and, um, and then also distracted by the television and then drinking her $2 wine. So, it, and then being manipulative at the same time. So it has, I've never played something so complicated. She is, I mean, those two scenes, that one scene that you're just talking about is intense. Like you totally steal the show. And, uh, <laughs> but it, with this character, Rosanna, like you really didn't have anything to go on. Right, what did you, I think you just used the transcripts, right? Yeah, all I had were the transcripts and all the ingredients that kind of make up this kind of damaged human being. And, you know, in acting, you're, you're dealing with emotion and energy. And, and it's kind of, how I describe her is she's the kind of person you've seen on the street before and that you steer clear of. You know, somebody who gives off uh, an unpredictable, unsettling vibe. And, and all the ingredients of this character were in the script. First of all, all my dialogue are from uh, transcripts of interviews she's given. So that was really informative because the way she misuses phrases or her bad grammar or all her justifications and she's just, she, you know, flip-flops in her lying. There's that and then the fact that she lives in a trailer, she's, she's lived a hard life, probably has a drug and alcohol problem and all of this, I just, I'm a very physical actor, so I like to, to play all this um, in the physicality of it. And then visually, I, uh, I got to transform for this role. Where does she fit in with, like, all the other characters that you've, you know, you've portrayed in, in your career? Well, I'm so, I was so excited because I, I took a five-year break from movies because um, I was making records and touring. And people may, some people know that, some people don't. But so this is sort of my reemergence to to drama again. You know, I'm coming out in two comedies this year, and I haven't played a role this intense in uh, I don't know a decade. So I think it fits in overall with my uh, work in the sense that I love characters and I just gravitate toward people that are not really like myself. I don't. I don't. I didn't really get into movies to play myself, so I, I kind of enjoy extremes sometimes, and then there's really lighthearted stuff that I've done as well. And uh, when you're making this movie, did you have any contact with Betty Ann? I didn't, except for the interviews she did um, with Tony, and, and they taped her for her for the accent. But I got to f have a, oh, and then I also YouTubed her because she d d speaks publicly and I looked at the case and stuff like that. But she wasn't on set when I was there, but Barry Sheck was, who oversees the Innocent um, Project, the Innocence Project. And he was really helpful because I asked him all questions all about Rosanna, my character, and he would tell me, you know, phone calls she would make and how she kept changing her story and she would call him drunk sometimes and just, it, it really let me know, okay, I, I kind of know this, this kind of person in, in a way, or I can imagine. Right, right. Yeah. Thank you so much.